Good afternoon. Um, gonna play games. Well, playing with games today. The topic today is, um, and I'm borrowing this from my friends Deborah and DJ, who spoke about it earlier today in the workshop, and I'll explain that. But the thing is, the painful thing is, you win every game you play, especially with relationships. That doesn't sound like a bad thing. Let me tell you, it is. If you don't know what you're doing, and I'll explain how you can do something different and play a higher game. So before I give all that away and tell you all the story, all the information about that and what this means, and maybe you'll understand it, let me explain who I am, why I do these talks, and maybe why you want to stick around. Hi, my name is Barry Zorby. I am an inspirational speaker, spiritual guide, love and relationships expert, helping women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also the author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a book for singles and couples, men and women. I'd recommend it because it's my book, I'm biased. Um, <laughs> and I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. That's what forms I work with women, it's why I stand for women, it's why I do my work. And also I started these talks almost three years ago now called Messages for the Masculine Inspiring and Feminine Heart. Today we're at episode number 864 and if you've seen the background again, this is the third day in a row I've done a broadcast from the same location at the hotel because I'm actually here at this event which ends tonight um, called Rocky Mojo Weekend, Women's Weekend. And so I'm making nuggets of stuff from the weekend for myself because I'm always learning as well as holding the space and being the photographer for my friend Deborah. And something I said that today which is potent when it landed, was you win every game you play. And that sounds like it's a great thing. But let's do it backwards. Literally, or figuratively. If you're not getting what you want, what game are you playing that you're winning? Or should I say, what game are you winning that you're playing? Yeah, that way around. Because the thing, the, 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 the nuance of this is, it's like, say, like, you know, every game you play, you win. It's great. Great. Well, if you don't, if you're like, if you're playing a sports game and you lose, how's that winning? The thing is, is that it may be the outer game is the sport you're playing at somebody else, but it's about the inner game of what you're telling yourself. If you're not really aligned with the truth that you're the best there is in what you do against some other people, then the game you're playing is to be second best or less than that. So you'll come up failing to win the game against the other person. That's a sports analogy, but I'm going to speak about more of the personal life stuff, the relationship stuff, the inner stuff, because frankly, many people are really not happy with their love life. They're not happy with their dating life. They're not happy with what results they're getting. They're not happy with the relationship they're in. They're not happy because they're being lonely. They're not happy for lots of reasons. So the question I'm asking of them, perhaps, maybe not you, maybe you're fine, but maybe you can think about this in case it is your own experience, is what game have you defined for yourself that you're actually playing and winning. Now, what I'm saying about that, again, like I said about the sports analogy, is if you're not getting what you want, if your life life, if your love life sucks, maybe you're maybe you're um, not meeting anybody because if you're a lady, you're saying there's no good men out there. Well, if your game is there's no good men out there, you're winning it because there's no good men out there. You see what I mean? So what I'm inviting you to look at is what, look, sorry, what I'm inviting you to look at looking back, looking backwards, I'm gonna flip the script on this one is you may not realize what it is you're believing, but you do know what you're experiencing because you can see it, it's outward experience. So you can use your outer um, track record, history, experiences of life, and um, what do you call it? Recon not re reconstruct, no, something else. Um, um, reconstitute, it's like basically what you're doing is you go back and you're taking your experience and bring it back to what created it. Because we have 20-20 hindsight, you may have realized that, one of our gifts is we all have 20-20 hindsight, which is usually way better than our vision of the future is. So when it comes to um, not changing your experience, so it sometimes it's gonna be hard to see what you wanna change because you may say, well, I'm fed up with this reality, I'm gonna choose and do this over here, and focus on that, make it happen, make it happen, make it happen, and it isn't working. Because what you need to do is take what you're experiencing as a result, your success, your uh, winning game, and deconstruct it, and see what it is you did that started it in the first place. And it isn't, it isn't that hard, it does take a bit of finesse, but it isn't that hard. When you can get back to what started your path to this result, then you can change the rules of the game that you've made up. Because you, again, as you can win every game you play, then maybe you want to change the rules of the game you're playing so it can be something that you do want to have, not sort of what you don't want to have. Because the paradigm is playing out that everything you say you're going to do, excuse me, everything you align with that you want to do, because it's not what you say, it's actually deeper than that, is going to create a result on the other side that matches what you create, what you wanted. 
Now, maybe you didn't think you wanted that, but you got that because of what you got. You know, it's like the results show up. It's, it, it's, it's like the results show up matching what you actually intended. Even if, even if you don't think you did. It's going to sound a bit schizophrenic, I know. <laughs> but I wanted to, to give you this thing to sit with. I mean, this is, this is, this is a, a deeper topic, I know. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm just um, dipping a finger in the icing of the cake, so to speak. Let's just play with this. But I wanted to give you this sum to think about because going through life blaming the dating pool, blaming the dating apps, blaming everybody else for not getting what you want is a game that you're playing that you're winning because you're still getting the result, which is those people you say are responsible for your lack of success may be the stunt doubles for what's really going on because you're in a game. It's always the inner game. It's where the true work is happening. And if you are not focusing on changing your inner game towards success in the area of love, and it's also, by the way, this, this, this theme is true of every, every area of life, but since my passion is about love and relationships and, and living a healthier and more happy and more wholesome life, this is a cornerstone of that work. Recognizing that the inner game that we play, the inner dance we play, the inner... Um, Word. the inner framing of our life that we create that we manifest that we design that we build out is always going to reflect what's happening inside I've talked about this before about how our, inner, our, our outer experience is a reflection of inner reality that was something that I learned from my master's program we talked about that and how we create our reality even though we don't like what we're getting this is the game we're playing that we're winning at but it's not the game we want the reminder in this message that I'm giving you is that if the results you're getting aren't what you want, you need to change the game. You can't change the results by changing the results, if that makes sense. The results are a direct reflection, a direct uh, expression, a direct outpicturing, as, as um, one of my teachers would call it, of what you started with in the first place. So it starts with your inner game, it starts with your inner reflection, it starts with your inner understanding of where it is you're out of alignment. Because when you start to see that results you're getting are not what you want, but you're still winning in the game, and it's time to go back and change the actual rules of the game in the first place. And that's the inner work. So if you're happy with what you're doing, you're happy with what's happening, then keep doing what you're doing. Go for it. But if you're noticing that what you're getting has a different result than you want, then you need to change the game. It's that simple. Now, how you change the game, that's another story. And that's really where I would offer my own support, my own coaching. As, as, I, as you know, my broadcast, if you're watching any one of them, I always drop a call to action in the back end of my broadcast, which usually is a few links that I recommend you check out. But I want to speak a bit more to this before I do give you those links. Because what I'm so clear about is that all of us, all of us, can use somebody else, somebody else's eyes, somebody else's insight, somebody else's guidance to see ourselves more clearly than we can see ourselves. And so I know that I'm getting support. I've, I've got three mentors that I'm working with and a coach that I partner with, we, we, we cross uh, pollinate, that are helping me to become better at what I do. So I help other people the same way. And I mean, it's a, it's, in a way, it's a vast network of people helping people helping people, so I think that's the game I'm playing. And it works. So my invitation to you, my encouragement to you is find those perspectives that can see you more clearly than you can see yourself and usually not loved ones because they often see you the way you want to be seen rather than seeing as you really are which means that they don't necessarily see you for highest possibility they just see you where you want to go great you're doing all right of course some loved ones are smart enough to say you know you need to go see a coach or a counselor or a therapist to sort through what's in the way those are good people to have around you by the way they're on and authentic and they don't hold back um, within reason so my invitation, my encouragement, my suggestion to you is if the game you're playing is creating results you don't want, then it's time to change the rules of the game. And if you're not sure how to do that, because you might know how to do that, if you do, then you can change it. But again, be aware of what the results you're creating to go back to change the beginnings. If you are uncertain what that is and you want to get some support, I invite you to reach out to me. I'll put links in the comments as I mentioned, including 
uh, Discover Session Link with me as well. And my books, I didn't mention it. We'll put the book in there now. And a reminder also that part of the process is going to come back to loving yourself. Yes, I know my self-love practice is in there all the time because it's a fundamental piece of my coaching. When you love yourself, your life changes. When you love yourself, you reset the game. When you love yourself, all those outside pulls have less sway upon you. And you can have a much more... Um, we're looking for you have a much more free ability to express life to have and to have the game you want play out the way you want and succeed the way you want to have it so three links in the comments as usual my self-love meditation um, my book recommended and also re reach out to me for a discovery session with me but I want you to take this to heart you win every game you play but if it doesn't look like you're getting the results you want then you play a game a different way because you change the game again to say it the way I said at the beginning the game you're playing is creating the results you want. It's creating the results you're getting. If it's not the results you want, then change the game. Because every game you play, you win it. If the game is to come in second, if the game is to come in last, if the game is to screw up your relationships, if the game is to lose out in love, and you're winning at that because you're getting that result, that's where you're winning the game. So if that game isn't what you want, change the game. And I'm a master coach to help you change the game to what you want. I think that makes sense. So I thank you for watching. This is my daily broadcast, by the way. I'm doing it shorter once. I've got to get back in the room because we've got, we're on a short break. Um, and we're almost, almost wrapping up for the day. But I wanted to give you this thought to ponder for a Sunday evening. Um, this is my daily Facebook Live, as I mentioned. Um, what did I mention? Well, if it, anyway, I didn't. This is my daily Facebook Live. I do it every day on my, on my own personal page on Facebook right here at 5 p.m. Pacific time, which is Barry Selby on Facebook. You can join me live every day, seven days a week. Um, the replays go to my business page on Facebook. Oh, yeah, I mentioned, yeah, didn't mention that, okay. <laughs> Get ahead of myself. The replays go to my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby, the author. You can find most of my replays, not all of them, they don't show up there for some reason, but you can like my page and watch all the last three, four hundred of them. If you want to see all 800 plus, then please go to my business, please go to my YouTube channel, um, which is Barry Selby. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a playlist on there called Messages for the Masculine, where all of these live, and this one all the way back to the beginning. Um, questions thoughts about this please put in below i hope this makes sense to you if you're just joining me please watch from the beginning if you're watching the replay i'd love to hear from you let me know what you think um uh, getting noisy i gotta get out of here now so thank you for watching i appreciate you being with me i'll be back in the same time tomorrow 5 p.m pacific time and check out the links i provide after i sign off i'll put them in the comments they will support you and assist you with that thank you for watching i'll see you again tomorrow take care of yourself bye